This video is a quick refresher for parents on multiplication and division of fractions. Multiplying fractions is actually nice and easy. Here's an example. What's 2 thirds multiplied by 6 sevenths? And all you do is you multiply the numbers on the top, the numerators, so 2 times 6 is 12, and then the numbers on the bottom, the denominators. 3 times 7 is 21. And that's it. The answer is 12 over 21. Easy. If mixed numerals are involved, it requires just a bit more work. First, you convert them to improper fractions. So taking this example, 2 and a half times 3 and 2 thirds, firstly I'll convert 2 and a half to an improper fraction. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so it becomes 5 over 2. Now 3 and 2 thirds, 3 threes are 9, plus 2 is 11, so this becomes 11 over 3. And so now we just proceed as in the first example. 5 elevens are 55, and 2 times 3 is 6. So the answer is 55 over 6, and we can simplify this back into a mixed numeral. How many times does 6 go into 55? Well, 9 6 is a 54, so it's 9, and we have 1 sixth left over. So the answer is 9 and a sixth. Sometimes kids can get confused with a question like this, 7 times 3 fifths. The key is to remember that 7 can also be written as 7 over 1, and all of a sudden it looks much easier. 7 threes are 21, 1 times 5 is 5, 21 over 5. And since 5 goes into 21 four times with 1 left over, it's 4 and a fifth. Another little thing that's worth reminding kids is that you can replace the word of with the multiplication sign. A question written out in words like this, what is a quarter of three quarters, can appear confusing until you realise that it can be written much more simply and that a quarter of three quarters is the same as a quarter times three quarters. So one times three is three, four times four is 16, a quarter of three quarters is three sixteenths. Division of fractions sounds like it's going to be hard, but it's actually very simple. Take this example. What's three-fifths divided by two-thirds? All you do is you flip the second fraction over, more formally this is known as taking the reciprocal of the fraction, and change the division sign to a multiplication sign. So let's flip over two-thirds, we get three over two, and change it to multiplies. Now it's just a simple multiplication question. Three threes are nine, five twos are ten, the answer is 9 tenths. As with multiplication, if a whole number is involved, remember that it can be rewritten as itself over 1. So take 7 divided by 2 thirds. This is really 7 over 1 divided by 2 thirds. And so we, switch, we flip the 2 thirds and get 3 over 2 and change the division to a multiplication sign and away we go. 7 threes are 21, 1 2 is 2. The answer is 21 over 2, or 10 and a half. Division by fractions can be conceptually a little bit confusing. The idea that 3 divided by a half is 6 can sometimes seem strange, yet it's the right answer. 3 divided by a half, we flip the half and we get 2 over 1, change division to multiplication, 3 times 2 is 6 over 1, which is 6. One way to clear things up with your kids is to use an example with pizzas. So another way of saying what is 3 divided by a half is to say how many times does a half fit into 3? And here we have 3 pizzas, how many halves do we have? Clearly it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 halves. So 3 divided by a half is 6. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video and that it reminded you that fractions aren't as difficult as they're made out to be.